Hey, hey guys, and welcome to another edition of Gator Talk. I'm, I'm trying to see why it won't let my guest come in here, but But until I get get it figured out, how how are you guys doing out there tonight? Um, this is this is episode. Of, oh, hey. Hey, partner. Hey, what's going on, partner? Um, welcome to the show, finally. <laughs> yeah, it's good to make it in. Um, we we're already already live, so kick us. Off. All right. Well, well, as Alex was saying before, welcome to the show, guys. And that's your host, Alex Perez. And I'm. Oops. We want to go ahead and get it kicked off with Gator Talk, the fourth installment of Gator Talk with the Mighty Gators versus the Mississippi State Bulldogs. And I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Alex. Um, and, and first off, how are you doing tonight? Absolutely fantastic, man. Uh, I can't complain. God has been good to us. How you doing? I'm, I'm doing good. Um, I was trying to, trying to figure out why you couldn't get on before. But, ah man, you know it's um I don't know. I couldn't really even tell you to be honest with you, man. Um, but, but it uh, let me on, so I'm 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 here now. But um, t- 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 tell us what you thought of, of, about the game first off. Uh you know um. I really enjoyed the game. Um, I, I mean, it ain't really much to write home about. I like the fact that uh, both of the quarterbacks performed well. Um, I, I'm not happy with the defense. The defense performed poorly. And um, overall, special teams was good again. And... Um, yeah, man, it was it was an early start, you know, and the Gators got the win, and you know I haven't had time to go through and critique the the film, so to speak, and uh, and I get round to doing that soon enough, but I, uh, I, just from hindsight, it was a pretty good game. I I haven't um, had time to look look back on the on the film either, but. You know, you know, I will get to it eventually. I, mm-hmm. I, I, I thought that the that the Gators did did well. I'm, oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not happy about the um. Off offense, though, but we came out better. We still got the problems with the penalties, but overall, we did good. Do you agree, partner? I absolutely agree. Um, I think they still need to clean some things up. 
And uh, on defense, I don't know. I think they may have to make wholesale changes. Um, I don't know what it, what the remedy is. Let's just say that Florida has a leaky faucet. Sorry, partner. Repeat that. I push the one button. Hold on. What were you saying about something about a leaky faucet? No, I was saying that um, the defense still need wholesale changes. And I guess you could just sum it up to. Florida has a very leaky faucet. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, any anything else you want you want to say about this game or? Uh... Um, I mean, the only thing you can say is that the defense is still still bad. It's still pretty bad. Um, but. I mean, it, you can't really say much about the offense, but defense is it's pretty bad. It's they they gave up two hundred and sixty or seventy fifty, you know, between two fifty and two seventy yards on the ground rushing. You know, that's way too many, and a good team will blow you out if you allow that to continue to happen. So you know. What did you see about what did you what did you see about what did you like about um, the, the the Gators the, the the Gators game overall against Mississippi State? You you said that, I like the quarterback play. That that's what I like the most. I really like the quarterback play. Graham played. He missed some throws, of course. Um, DJ, he did well. He didn't force the ball. So for him, that's an A plus. Graham missing the missing some open targets and throwing behind the receivers. I think he need to work on that. So overall, I give the quarterbacks a eight out of a ten. They did well. I give them ninety percent. They did well. Well. I you know I I I like how how the Gators you know was was f f f f fighting against Mississippi State. They really tr tried hard, but at the end of the day, they came out with a win, partner. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You won't get no complaints out of me, man. I'm I'm proud of them, and you know, um, it's still things that we need to clean up. But you know, um, we'll work on it. We'll get around to it. <coughs> and and again, guys, we're sorry about the the technical difficulties you know we've we've started this show a little bit you know late <coughs> i'm sorry guys a, a little bit later than normal but we had a little bit of a technical difficulties but we're here now but um so so what else um so what else did you see from the game that you really really liked instead you know um yeah like i say quarterback play mm, linebackers did well some young guys got to play defense was horrible um yeah so, I, I mean, I like the offense looking a little better, but I, I like the effort. The effort was a little better, but defense, man, that defense looked pretty bad. 
So, um, so what do what do what do they need to do to 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 clean up the 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 defense mistakes? Oh, man, the defense been so bad. Um, I think the Miami game was so far it's, it's done turned out to be an outlier because that was I mean even though they played poorly in the Miami game they still haven't given up this many rushing yards you know since the, like the Miami game was the only game where they played decent rush defense and since the Miami game it's been porous it's been disgusting despicable lack of effort no physicality. I mean, it's been pretty bad on defense. At least offense turning it around. Defense is, man, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry. They need to c c clean up their mistakes, you know. Um, they, need, they need to stop. They need to stop. They need to stop making penalties. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. They, they they got a lot of work to do, man. And they need to start working together as a team. Mm -hmm. like, I, like I said, the, the previous episode, they're not they're not working as a team, partner. Right, right. So, yeah. So. Yeah, so they, they mm -hmm. need to they need to com, 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 communicate and and play better, you know. Right, right, right. But yeah, they got a lot of things to work on, man. Uh, man, they got so many things to work on. They got a bye week this week, so maybe they can get back to work and try and clean some things up. They got a lot of work work to be done though um plenty of work to be done wow i didn't know they they was coming up on the bye week this week i'm sorry mm-hmm yep they got a week off so um so overall this this game was pretty good um happy with the outcome but there there's still work to be to be done and partner always work to be done they got a bye week so you know uh they can't lose a game this week coming up because they'll be off and um i believe they got ucf in the swamp so hopefully they can pull off a a game that they should win but we'll see um so um do, do you think do you think Billy Nate Pierce is still going to be fired or what's going on with that do you know Uh I don't think they need to worry about trying to fire Billy right now I think they should take care of all of that at the end of the year or, just let or, the man coach. Yeah, just let him coach. Or or uh, or give or give him a, a a couple more years to to try and get better. I don't know. Ah, uh, well, he don't got a couple more years. This this this, he got a lot more games. You know, if he can win some games, he's not supposed to and find a way to make it to six and six, then I think he can keep his job. Well, and again, you know, I, I heard on one of my, on one of my radio shows, they, they were, they were, some, some of the callers were um, saying something, um, different about this game they're not happy with the uh 
um deep defense but they they they, they was happy that they finally finally won a game so yeah that's um that's the sentiment that everybody's sharing right now man um right now florida is in football purgatory and they trying to find their way out man um you know sometimes when you don't have a defense sometimes an offense can be your best defense because i mean if you can't stop nobody else from scoring then you might as well try and outscore everybody and at this point, I think we at the point to where you're going to have to try and figure something out. And if everything that you're doing isn't working, then you got to try something that you never done before to get some results that you never had. So, 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 so how, how many, how many, um, how many, how many, y- 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 Yards did the Gators have again? I, I I'm I'm not sure. I'm not sure, man. They had probably. I wouldn't be surprised if they amassed about 500 or so yards. I know um, they had over 200 and something passing yards. Um, I think they rushed the ball for 200 something yards. So they had a good day offensively. They had a day uh, defensively, though. They still gave up 200 and something yards rushing on the ground, probably what 7.8, 7.9 yards of play. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it, it, it was horrible. I mean, Mississippi State scored. Um, it was a minute and almost two minutes left in the half. They went from one end of the field to the other end in like 50 something seconds. Miss- and then they scored, you know, so. It's pretty bad. Mississippi State was a was a beast, man. At times, yes. Um, I will say this: when when that coach is given enough time to get all his players in there, Mississippi State is going to be formidable. And they will cause some problems in the future. How, when he gets some better players in there, you better watch out. How how do you how do you, how do you like the the two quarterback situation in the in that game? They I like the two quarterback system. They had DJ. Like way and 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 Mertz in the game, if I if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, every third series, DJ came in, uh, regardless of the outcome, per Billy Napier words, and uh, believe it or not, man, it may be unorthodox, but it's working for this team. And um, I say, if it's working. If it ain't broken, don't fix it. Close the door, son. I mean, is 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 this the is is this the the white formula that that Billy named is 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 doing? uh is it the right formula yeah Yeah, i don't know if it's the right formula but um it's working i mean the players responding to both quarterbacks graham got hot dj got hot you had two hot quarterbacks is it sustainable that's yet to be determined um could it work in the future that's a possibility uh, did it hurt the team? Not that we have seen yet, but we'll know more uh, here going forward when they get into some some deeper competition against better teams. Um, Billy may have to play the hot hand, whichever one get hot first. I say go go for it. 
But, you know, um, as long as Graham remained competent and poised and under control, I think you still can run the two quarterback system and bring DJ in as needed. Um, if DJ do come in and he get hot, I say ride the wave. If if Graham Mertz, if he's hot, he 12 or 15 throwing, and he done threw a couple TDs and he looked pretty good, I say, I say go with it. But, you know, I don't get paid millions of dollars to make that decision either. <laughs> neither, neither do I. But... <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, I'm just saying, you know. Um, and again, the guys, we are just saying our opinions about about all these gated games that we see on TV. We're not, we're not. Pro- professional we just come on here to give you our thoughts about the game guys and i and and we're and i'm trying to put on the the best show that i can that's all Mm -hmm. so um any 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 closing remarks my only closing remarks is, man, um, I just want to see the defense get better. I believe if the defense play a little better, it gives the quarterbacks a, a better chance to get a feel for the game. And we could actually win some games if we had some kind of defense. But, I mean, they got two weeks to figure it out. So let's see what happens. Um, yeah, I just want to see the defense get better, man. That's it. I just want to see the defense get better. And and what what are you what are you looking for when when they when they go out, go out of the of the bye week? I mean, I'm looking for improvement. Simple as that. Improvement from A to Z, left to right, north to south. One to ten, I want to see improvement, improvement, improvement. I don't even care about development at this point. Improvement. I don't care if it's a freshman. I don't care if it's a redshirt freshman. I don't care if it's a 10th year senior. I want to see improvement. When they get back on the field, there needs to be clear cut improvement, tangible improvement. We have to see it. You want to keep your job? Show me why you should keep your job. Uh, and and what do you think? What's gonna be the score of that game? If you had had to, <laughs> if you had to ah. predict. What's the score going to be for the next game? What is your prediction? I think if Florida can put up 35 points, they probably can win the game against UCF. Um, Man, it's just so hard to see them scoring 35 points on a halfway decent defense. Um, So... Yeah, if Florida can find a way to put up about 30-plus points and hold UCF to maybe 27, 28, 30 maybe, I think they can get out of there with a win. They can they can win at home for the first time in a, in a long time against an FBS opponent. So, um, Adrian... Um, thank you, thank you for coming on here, partner, um, for episode four. I forgot to tell you that, that our, that our regular 
gentleman that we had on on the week four had another engagement to take care of tonight. So absolutely, um, and we wish him all the best, and um, we support cancer cancer research. Uh, we 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 donate the cancer and. My sister is a cancer survivor, so um, I definitely understand what he's going through and, and the cause that he's perpetuating um, mainstream. And um, I'm behind him 100%. And um, I what, think that many people should donate to cancer research. What did you say, partner? Um, I was having problems with the internet connection there, but repeat what you was trying to say before. Just don't, I was saying donate to cancer research. Okay. Because, mm -hmm. you know, you know um, can, can, cancer research is such a a wonderful job to to do, you know, but you know he was saying mm -hmm. that he, that he he lost his 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 mom due to cancer, and um, it's cancer is a very serious thing. You know, you don't want to, right. want to mess, mm -hmm. you don't want to mess around with cancer because cancer can kill you in an instant. You know. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So um, yeah, man. Uh, once again, um, it's been good, man. Um, glad you was able to get us linked up together, and I'm glad that the um, technical difficulties got ironed out. Yeah. And um, yeah. yeah, man. So I think it was a success. And 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 happy happy birthday to to our partner of Gator Talk, Mister Adam. And we are, we appreciate all that you guys all that you do for cancer research. So um, oh yeah. Oh and yeah, we'll, and we'll see you. We'll 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 see you, Mister Adam, after the 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 bye week. So that's right. Um. So so again, happy happy birthday to, to Mister Adam. We'll see you after after the bye week, Mister Adam. So. All right. We'll see you soon, Mr. Adam. Stay strong, man. We support the cause. And and we sure do appreciate you helping us out in the, in the Gator Talk. Um so so this so this ends a a another edition of Gator Talk. If Adrian, do you want to close us out or? All right. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this has been Alex Perez, your host, Adrian Green, the co-host, and Mr. Adam, our guest superstar. You know, and we support the cause for cancer research. Donate to cancer research. Make sure that you pray for your family, pray for your friends, pray for your enemies, pray for those people that you don't know. Life is so much better when you can just love your neighbor as you love yourself. Once again, Alex, we love you, man. Uh, the, the family love you. We want you to be safe, take care. And until next time, my friend, go Gators. Go Gators, my friend. <laughs>
Go Gators. <laughs> um, um, until, un- until next time, guys, um, this ends episode f- f- four of Gator Talk. Join join us after the after the bye week is over for another edition of Gator Talk. But until then, for my for my for my co-host Adrian Green and for for me. Alex Perez and, and my and and my dear dear f- f- friend Adam Adam Swords um. Thank you to everybody that 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 makes Gator Talk possible, you guys, and 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 God and God bless you guys, and have a have a great night, and we'll see you after the after the bye week. Good night, guys.
Jesus and rescue Rooter. Well, I'll stop your drain and keep you cooler. If the heat goes out, just give us a call. We'll have you warm and toasty and no time at all. If you want clean air that's fresh and cooler, ARS and Rescue Rooter. Call ARS and Rescue Rooter.